Okay, so here's a small video just to show you my setup for recording my Nintendo Switch uh, and ultimately I will be streaming this on YouTube although I have to say uh, I'm a typical old bloke I'm absolutely rubbish at playing computer games but this is just a bit of fun uh, using the OBS software so this is the OBS uh, interface over here on the left we've got Switch which is the scene which is kind of the overall title of the of what we're doing here and then we've got these various sources uh, we've got the MacBook Pro which is providing us with this thumbnail of my talking head up here and which I can make smaller if I wish just by doing that smaller the better I say uh, but the sounds not coming from the MacBook Pro the sound is coming from my Helix uh, interface it's, Helix is actually a Line 6 guitar processor but it's actually got a pretty good um, uh, audio interface built into it so I've plugged my decent Neumann mic into that and uh, that's giving us the sound which is much much better the fans whirring away on my MacBook Pro so um, you'll probably hear that as well but if you use the MacBook Pro mic it really is awful that fan noise and you can see the the output from the Neumann mic coming over here I can uh, change the level a bit like that bring it up whatever uh, if I click this cog I've got various things I can lock the volume I can hide this in the mixer but uh, we'll leave it as it is for the moment um, the Nintendo down here in the mixer obviously that's the output from the the audio output from the the Nintendo switch which is going into my USB capture HDMI uh, dongle thing which is plugged into my computer it's made by a company called Magewell absolutely rock solid brilliant device and uh, so if I click on that so these are the properties I've got set now you have to tell me if I've got this right I've set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 which is the resolution I think that the uh, switch runs at and 60 frames per second I think it can cope with that uh, but you'll have to tell me if I've got that wrong various um, auto settings here that I don't really understand but you know we'll look at those and tell me if you think I've got the right I've got buffering on I'm not sure if that's right it was on by default over here is the controls you've got to start streaming it's obviously for YouTube or uh, uh, Facebook or other platforms start recording and record to your computer and mine was set to something I couldn't see so I've changed it to uh, .mp4 you can also do .move the studio mode gives you this view which is kind of a side by side um not quite sure that's for but I'll won't use that and in settings here you've got the various settings for the output uh, so general we can have dark not sure if I like that I think I prefer system anyway stream uh, it's your stream key which you have to get from YouTube um, and output various things here which I don't really understand so I've, I've not really changed those here's your recording path I've changed mine to my desktop and I made a folder called OBS I've boosted the recording quality to large file size because it was a bit poor uh, encoder not sure about that so I've left that as it is it's things that I don't understand uh, audio so these are the various inputs I've got Helix Audio, my audio interface, the Nintendo Switch, the USB capture, HDMI, various options there, um, and the built-in mic which I've disabled and I've hidden it because it's just so terrible. This down here, Telestream Audio Capture, so that I can record the um, computer audio, and in this case that's the input from the switch onto this ScreenFlow um, broadcast screen flow is the the software I'm using to record this uh, brilliant piece of software that I use uh, video I've set this base um, canvas resolution down a bit trying to because I noticed on the snake game you may see it in a minute the, the great snake adventure that I'm going to play it kind of judders a bit and you might be able to give me some ideas about how to get that better various hotkeys which I haven't learned yet advanced which I've got absolutely no idea at all uh, about so anyway leave that all as it is okay it's a bit slow this it's a bit sluggish oh I quite like this white 
look down here. I wasn't sure I liked the black look very much. Anyway, now the thing I keep doing is I keep uh, clicking the touchpad on the MacBook Pro to try and make the Nintendo work. But obviously, what I need is this Pro Control, which is plugged in because it's charging. So let's uh, let's go to the switch. So hopefully you can hear the audio, which you can turn up and down here. But obviously you don't want the audio too loud, especially if you're doing something like this, because you want to hear my voice describing things. Let's go into this. I warn you, I'm absolutely terrible at this. But you'll, you'll get the general drift, I'm sure. I'm going to start recording so I can have a recording of this on my computer. So that's recording. Uh, few hints on screen for old people like me this is great fun but I'm, I'm so terrible at it I'm better at the, the low levels this is round seven which is <laughs> a bit hard for me there we go you'll see so the idea is not to hit anything until we eat the apples and things I'm not sure this controller is working properly it doesn't seem to be functioning very well this is the recording I've just made so this is a .mp4 file and computer, so that's recording. It's not bad. Uh, quality of the mic's nice. Hints on screen for old people like me. This is great fun, but I'm, I'm so terrible at it. I, I'm better at the, the low levels. This is round seven, which is <laughs> a bit hard for me. There we go. You'll see. So the idea is not to hit anything until we eat the apples and things. I'm not sure this controller is working properly. It doesn't seem to be functioning very well. So there we are. I've probably made a few rookie errors there, but uh, I'm sure people will point out what I've done wrong. Thank you very much for watching, and you'll see me in my next video.